People's Republic of Korea. North Korea's Vice Minister of Foreign Affairs, Pak kil yeon said his country would strengthen its nuclear stockpile to deter a U.S. and South Korean military buildup in the region. As long as the U.S. nuclear aircraft carriers sail around the seas of our country, a uh, nuclear deterrent can never be abandoned, but should be strengthened further. This is the lesson we have drawn. Pyongyang has conducted two nuclear weapons tests in 2006 and 2009 that resulted in UN sanctions. North Korea walked out of the six-party talks last year after international criticism of its long-range rocket launch. Now, since then, the U.S. has been trying to restart the stalled negotiations on North Korea's nuclear disarmament. Prospects for resumption of the talks were torpedoed after North Korea was accused of sinking a South Korean warship back in March. The vice minister accused the South of increasing tensions in the region. South Korea is advised not to create tension on the Korean Peninsula by waging war exercises with outside forces and pursuing confrontational approaches in defiance of concerns of in the international community. The sovereignty and the efforts of the DPRK for peaceful development are constantly threatened and undermined as the explosive situation leading to the brink of war is created periodically on the Korean Peninsula. North Korea, like Iran, also called for UN reform and changing the power structure between the often toothless General Assembly and the Security Council. The authority of the General Assembly should be enhanced decisively. The General Assembly, which is the most democratized organ in the United Nations, has less power than the undemocratic Security Council. This abnormal situation should no longer be continued. Vice Minister Pak Hill Young finished his UN address by asking the South to embark on a dialogue with them to find solutions to all outstanding issues. Frank Uciardo for South South News, the United Nations.